Hello everyone, my name is Pixelris. For today's tutorial we're going to my favourite arcade, which is apparently in the middle of this weird empty field, and we're going to put on a record and I've got a handful of gold nuggets because we're going to play an arcade game. And as you can see this time around, it is functional. I put in a gold nugget and I get a bunch of tickets which I could exchange at the prize counter for some prizes. And today I'm going to show you how to build this. So the idea behind this was to combine the look of my retro arcade game cabinet with the functionality of something like the redstone wishing fountain I designed, and I've got it pretty close. You'll need a dispenser, a hopper, an armor stand, a minecart with a hopper, a rail, a block and stair block of your choice, a piston and something to activate it with, and to dress it up you'll need a gold helmet, a leather tunic, three item frames, some gold boots, a gold pressure plate and a block of gold. Your decorations may vary but I go all gold all the time. Now you want to be facing either north or south for this and the reason for that I will show you over here. This one faces east west and the hopper minecart sticks out at the front. You might think this looks okay with the design and I think it doesn't look too bad against the red sandstone but if you want to build it so that the hopper minecart is a bit more concealed which will make it look a little bit more mysterious mysterious that it actually has functionality, then build it north-south. Start off by finding a place where you want your player to stand, dig a hole, place a dispenser in there. Come around the back and place a hopper facing into the dispenser, then hold down shift and place your armor stand in there so it sinks in and the back is facing where you want the player to be. Now build up with whatever building blocks you have to hand, pop the rail on there, add the hopper minecart and take out that block. You'll notice it catches the rail on the way down so you'll probably want to rescue that from the dispenser. While this is still here, build up here so you can place the blocks for your arcade cabinet. Make sure you've got a piston facing down at the top like so and then activate it a couple of times so it comes to rest over the top of your armor stand and importantly the minecart with a hopper in it. Now you'll want to put some blocks either side of this so the minecart doesn't move around too much and you'll notice it's sticking out of the front right now I promise you with a bit of careful maneuvering you can actually get it concealed inside of that block and all the functionality will still be there it just takes a little bit of fiddling to do that now we're going to the inventory and grab the stuff that we want it for the detail. I'm going to add an item frame to the front there with a gold block inside of it. I renamed the gold block so you might want to do that. You might also want to rename the minecart just in case anyone clicks on that accidentally. Add some item frames to the sides with whatever items you fancy in it. I'm going to use some gold boots here just to give it a little bit of extra flair and turn them upside down so people don't recognize them as easily. And then pop the gold pressure plate on top and that is a pretty good looking arcade game. <laughs> oh right, one more thing. Add the screen and add the leather tunic there as kind of like controls or tumblers or something like that. The original design had two more more armor stands sticking up as joysticks but because the armor stand is sitting inside a hopper you can't really do that this time around. Now that part is out of the way we want to move on to the mechanism and for that you'll need a building block or two, a redstone comparator, a redstone repeater, two dust and I'm using note blocks to add an extra ding when somebody throws a coin in. You'll also want something for it to be dispensing. Now I think the best way to set this up is so people throw in gold nuggets and they get tickets because tickets don't cost you anything whereas gold nuggets is currency so <laughs> that's one way of doing it and I'm going to grab a bit of carpet as well well so we can conceal the mechanism as we go. Now dig out these four blocks here so you can get to the hopper and put a redstone comparator coming out of it facing that way. You'll notice the hopper minecart is moving around a little bit but is staying where it is. That's pretty important. Now throw down a note block there and that's what's going to make the ding noise every time somebody throws in a coin and out of that you want to dig out those two blocks there, have a redstone repeater running out and then two redstone dust so it faces into the block next to the dispenser. Then fill up the dispenser with whatever you you want to dispense primarily tickets but leave one gap available for whatever you want people to throw in and make sure they know to throw that stuff in because if they throw in something else it's going to leave the circuit permanently on because the item won't be able to get from this hopper into the dispenser and it will pretty much break the machine and the technician will have to come along and he'll be grumble grumble oh, more than my job's worth gotta fix this so <laughs> it's probably best that make sh you make sure that people know that they can throw in the gold nuggets and they will be able to throw the tickets back in as well but they'll probably just get a ticket back anyway so that's how you do that then throw down a building block in there it doesn't have to be a block of iron that's just what I'm using right here and then cover the rest of this up with carpet so people will never know it's there and you can throw gold nuggets in to your heart's content and receive tickets as a reward Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in seeing how this machine can have even more functionality, click the link in the bottom right hand corner to be taken to an unlisted video where I'm going to explain how you can set up the machine to break once it runs out of prizes. Make sure to subscribe while you're here and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. 
add a hopper on top of that. So the hopper can be directed outward into a chest if you want it to collect the armor stands, but just add a stone pressure plate on top, and the stone here is very important. I'll explain why in a second. But if you drop the armor stand on top of that now, it's going to break, it's going to end up in the hopper, and obviously...